Hello everyone, Sober O'Neill of GNA Reviews here with a Servant Spotlight for everyone's favorite idol, Elizabeth Bathory. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have a spotlight up for the other Elizabeth, Carmilla, linked in the description below so please do check that out right after this. And let's move on to Liz's stats. Liz has a max HP of 11,870, which is below average for a 4 star Lancer but pretty above average when compared to the rest of the 4 stars. In turn, her max attack stat of 9,122 is exactly in the middle of all the 4 star Lancers and it's also average among 4 stars in general. Taking a look at her skills. Her first skill is Charisma Rank C, which increases the attack of all allies for 3 turns, between 8 to 16%, depending on level. And that skill can be strengthened through a strengthening quest, which increases it to Charisma of Sadism Rank A, which increases the attack of all allies for 3 turns, between 10 to 20%, and also increases the attack of all female allies, except herself, between 10 to 20% for 3 turns both depending on level. Her second skill is Torture Technique Rank A, which decreases an enemy's defense for 3 turns between 10-20% to 20%, depending on level. And finally her last skill is Battle Continuation Rank B, which will apply Guts one time for 5 turns and revive her with between 750 and 2000 HP depending on level. Now moving on to her passive skills. Liz's passives are Magic Resistance Rank A, which increases debuff resist by 20%, and Territory Creation Rank B, which increases Arts Card Effectiveness by 8%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, Liz has a Semi Buster deck with Quick Quick Arts Buster Buster and a Buster Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Bathory Elizabeth, which deals heavy damage to all enemies that ignores defense with between a 300 to 500% damage modifier depending on level, and inflicts Curse between 500 to 2500 for 3 turns depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at her cards, the hit counts on her cards are 2 hits for quick, 2 hits for arts, 1 hit for her buster, and 3 hits on her extra attack. She has a noble phantasm gain rate of 1.10 and a star rate of 11.8%. Overall that means she has bad noble phantasm gain just due to the low amount of hits and only having one arts card, and below average star generation just due to the low hit counts. Well, another Lancer spotlight, so let me preempt your question, Ku is better. But that being said, Liz is definitely no slouch. Her stats are not stellar, but they are solid, meaning she has enough HP to take a good bullying, but she also has enough attack to dish it back. Being a Buster Servant helps her a lot, as do her skills. Liz is good at both softening targets and buffing damage. Her Charisma skill is her strongest weapon, 16% team-wide buff is never bad, and it's only slightly weaker than Arturia's. In post-strengthening quest, this skill becomes monstrous and one of the best Charisma skills in the game, simply because it provides a 40% attack boost to half the servants in the game. I think we all know that the female trait is fairly common in this game after all. Her second skill, Torture Technique, combos very nicely with her first skill since it can further amplify the damage done to a target. That defense down is guaranteed, which makes it reliable at doing its job. For example, if you use Charisma of Sadism and Torture Technique skills together, that's a potential 60% damage increase against a target for 3 turns. Compared to that, her battle continuation skill is a bit bland, but Guts is Guts and it helps add to her survival rate. Charisma should be maxed first and in all cases, followed by Torture Technique and then Battle Continuation. Her Noble Phantasm isn't especially notable, but it does ignore defense and she belongs to a rare breed of AoE Lancers, which makes her great for farming. There's also a case to be made that Liz is potentially the best AoE Lancer, at least for the next few days and then you can just throw that case out the window. And that statement pretty much sums up Liz entirely. Being the only gold lancer in the game, she can seem pretty powerful now compared to what she actually is just because of the lack of competition when it comes to support or farming lancers. For one thing, while Charisma Sadism is absolutely fantastic, it doesn't double buff her, which is something that she could have really needed to help her out. She also suffers from really bad Noble Phantasm gain, which is just salt in the wound when you consider that her Noble Phantasm is really weak. Even considering that it's an AoE, it's still strong enough to kill hands, but it's useless for any big fights unless you can buff her significantly. 
Her star generation is also quite weak for having two quick cards. A more balanced deck with two arts and one quick would have been much, much better. And this isn't so much a demerit as much as a what the fuck, but what the fuck is Territory Creation doing on a Lancer with one arts card? And I know that the answer to that probably lies in lore, but even so, it's weird. Still, despite all those negatives, she does have one major strength in how well she can play with others. Team comp for Liz is varied and she can be used effectively both offensively and in a support role, which is pretty rare. Of course, if you're going to use Liz offensively, your best bet is to pair her with people who can buff her attack and her Noble Phantasm gain. So Waver is ideal as always, Shakespeare works here too, for the same reasons, as do Hans and David who can provide her with a little bit more survival in place of the Noble Phantasm charge. Caesar and Romulus can also be pretty strong with her, while they aren't pure supports they can buff her pretty well, however I think Liz is slightly better playing the support role. Liz is an underrated support, she won't charge everyone's Noble Phantasm like Waver or make everyone immortal like Tamamo or Joan, but as mentioned earlier, she's one of the best at maximizing single target damage. Pairing her with a strong single target Noble Phantasm servant, especially a female one, like Mary Reed, Okita, Skahawk, Ushi, Media, and Uriel can really make them hit for tremendous damage once Liz gets that strengthening quest. But even pre-strengthening quest, pairing her with offensive servants, male or female, Gil, Kentucky, Herc, or Drake, is a very viable option. And that's for her Bondcraft Essence Elixir, it restores the HP of all allies by 500 each turn. This does fit her role as more of a support or team oriented Lancer, but a 500 HP heal isn't much so I wouldn't recommend using it, instead you're just better off giving her Kaleidoscope or Halloween Princess for farming and limited zero for damage. I highly recommend giving her Kaleidoscope if you have her as a support, since most people will be using her to farm EXP. If you want to make full use of her in her support role, you can give her 2030, especially if you plan on pairing her with Ryder or Okita, since adding stars to the attack buffs and defense debuff she already gives can just make her more of a really well-rounded support and a lot more useful. My overall opinion of Liz is she's one of the most versatile non-caster servants in the game right now, as she pairs well with almost anyone. She's an underrated support that gets even better after her charisma skill gets upgraded. And she's also fairly well balanced with good survival and strong farming abilities at a time where that's very lacking among Lancers. However, she does get outclassed fairly quickly and her strengthening quest comes too little too late to make a significant difference. Since while she is a good support, there are better ones at an even lower rarity. So I rate her as a C+. She isn't bad, but considering the power she's up against in her own class, even from servants with a star rating lower than hers, not named Ku, she's slightly below average, and while she's strong now, she's just more of a stopgap until you can get a better Lancer. The only thing keeping her afloat late game is her unique position as a strong support for other female servants. And those are my thoughts on Liz. I know she's fairly popular so there might be a bit of debate in the comments but I welcome it. Let me know what you guys think. Also please check out the Carmilla Spotlight also up on the channel, it's linked in the description. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, join our party over at Discord and follow us on Twitter. With that, I'll see you all in the next Spotlight. Silveroni out. Later.